Today we're starting with the head girls basketball coach at Sandusky High School, Al Demott. How are you doing today, coach? And thank you so much for taking a few minutes with us today to talk some hoops. I'm doing great. Wonderful. We got a game tonight. We're looking forward to playing. So not like last year when we had the COVID to fight. Matt. That's much better this year. Oh, good. Well, good luck tonight, first of all. So Thank to get you. us started, uh, just to give you like a little bit of a uh, pedestal to stand on to start off the interview, you're just one of two coaches in the state of Michigan who have more than 700 wins. You entered the season just about 30 wins shy of former Detroit Country Day head coach and legend Frank Orlando's all-time record of 767. When you sit back and think about that, what comes to mind? Well, I, I don't know. I've been doing this a long time. I know Frank, we played them before and he was a great coach. Yeah, to be even close to him and Roy Johnson, it's it's just been a wonderful experience. It, it's it's a lot of fun and a lot of fun. Good. I feel like you should enjoy it if you've gotten this far in what you're doing. Yeah, it, it's been, I was going to quit back when my uh, youngest daughter graduated like seven or eight years ago, but I, it's been just too much fun. I'm having a hard time walking away. I have such great kids. It's hard. It's, I just, it's hard to walk away and quit. So I just still doing it. And I have a Good, granddaughter that's... in seventh grade, so I'm not sure I'm trying to decide right now if I'm going to quit before she gets up here or keep going. It'd almost be easier to watch her from the stands, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you're locked in, but that's good. It sounds like that's exactly what would make a really good coach. So you were recently named the National High School Basketball's coach Basketball Coaches Wooden Legacy Award winner for girls basketball in the state of Michigan. How did you find out about it, and what does that mean to you? Um, Dan Young contacted me, and, you know, it, it's a great honor. I've never coached to try and get awards or that, and, but it, it it's very nice. You know, I mean, it's with all the great coaches that are in the state to be selected for that, it, it means a lot. There are a lot of good basketball coaches in our state, many, 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 many. Absolutely. Well, it's a soup. Congratulations. That's got to be definitely an honor to have. Thank you. Yep. All right. So you've been coaching basketball at Sandusky, located in Michigan's Thumb, since 1979. Was there ever a time that you thought about maybe taking the jump to the next level and coaching in college? You know, I I kind of considered a couple times, but I just I it's I've got it too good here. I got so much support here and. I, I just love what I'm doing right here, and there'd be no reason for me to ever change. The community's been good to me. The school's good. It's just been an ideal situation forever, to be honest with you. Well, so good. I it never... seems like the love is reciprocated then. Well, thank you. <laughs> So I'd like to talk about this year's team. You are 3-0 and right now. Congratulations. Hopefully tonight you keep that streak going. So tell me about this team that you've got and how it's all coming together. You know, this year we are very, very small. We've had a lot of tall girls, a lot of good tall posts over the years. But this year we are very, very small. We, but we're fast and they really work hard. And this summer, unlike last summer, we, we played a lot of summer basketball this year. Went to some team camps and some scrimmages and played a lot of really good competition which really helped us get ready for this season and our girls will not be outworked by anybody our, i got girls that really want to play and love the game and i really put a lot into it they play hard they like to play fast up and down and they're they're just we've got great kids we've got uh, they're all in national honor society the other day i walked by the library they're in the wrapping presents for national honor society and i think my whole team was in there they were all in there doing i mean they're just a great, great bunch of kids, and and they want to win. They're very unselfish. I mean, they care more about. They don't go run and look at the scorebook. They just want to win basketball games and do what they can for the team. Excellent. I always love when a student athlete can also be a good person at heart and do do more for the community and also be able to balance that with sports and schedules and school. So that's super cool to hear. Yeah, that's what makes it hard to walk away from this. When you get kids like that, it's it's hard to quit. And right, I got, you, get... you know, I got a lot right now. I've got like the daughters of players who used to play for me. I coached, you know, I had the, the moms. Now I would get the daughters. I've got a lot of them come through. So that's kind of special too. Wow. That is amazing. So you've got a bunch of legacy players now. Yeah. Yes. 
Very cool. So now into like a little bit more of the nitty gritty questions. So you and many coaches like you want to continue to see high school basketball grow in the state. And there's a lot of good young coaches out there. And we'd like to get each week for coaches to share a tip or a routine that has really worked for you and potentially try to encourage others to try to implement it. So do you have anything for us today? You know, a couple things. One, one thing I've learned over the years, if you praise more than you criticize, you get a lot more, especially girls. They, you know, boys, you can get on a little harder, I think, but girls like to be told that they're doing well. They like to be praised. I think in the long run, you get a lot more out of them if you're, you know, with praising them than you do criticize them and trying to keep them all involved, too. I like it. My favorite night when we have a game, if we have to be lucky enough where we get Every girl on our team can score a basket that night. That's a special night. Everybody goes home happy. You know, I, that, that's one thing that I think is really good. And one other thing, you know, for coaches starting out, um, you know, there's not really playing man-to-man or zone or pressing or whatever. There's no one form that you have to kind of adapt to what your players, you know, what you have for players and and do, do it well, whatever you do. Really specialize and, and do whatever you, you do well. And one other thing, if you don't get discouraged, if you start out, you know, the first couple of years are rocky. I know my first four years, we didn't get to 500 one year. We were like 24 and 52 or something. And this day and age, they'd probably fire you, though. You don't, I mean, they didn't have anybody else to do it. They begged me to do it because they had nobody to do it when I started. So, but don't give up on it and just keep working and build the program from the bottom up. You know, the youth program is very, very important. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for that. So another one that I have is that BCAM has introduced and officially launched the One Team campaign in an effort to promote unity among teams, schools, and communities. It's so important. And what are some things that you've done already or will do, whether it's activities, at games, or both, to promote respect for teams and each other? You know, we haven't really got into it yet much. We have, we're going to, in January, we haven't done anything with it much yet, but we're going to, I like the idea of lining up the two opposing, opposing teams, both teams together out on the mid court, you know, before the game, have them all line up together and have the officials out there. Cause boy, we all know we need officials. There's such a shortage in officials and we need to praise and do anything we can to include them in anything we're doing. But I think just so that the kids, you know, just the camaraderie of being out there together. And then we're going to, I'm athletic director also. So at our January athletic directors, meeting, I'm going to bring it up. We've got some great athletic directors in our conference that are, and try and brainstorm and come up with some more ideas, some things to do also. But right Excellent. now we haven't really done a lot yet, but that's going to be a very nice thing that BCAM is pushing. Good. Well, even just from your demeanor and everything that I've learned about you today, especially, I think that you'd be a good candidate to kind of help this thing become a reality. So. No, thanks. All right. Well, Coach DeMott, thank you again for all that you do for basketball. Good luck this season, and we will see you on the hardwood. Do you have anything else to say for us today? No, I, I appreciate you taking the time to interview me here. And it's like I said, I thanks for for all your support. And thanks for all State Champs does for sports in the state of Michigan. We're lucky to have you guys pushing you know, all the things. And I, I watched, you know, I know you'd cover all the sports, which is really nice special for basketball for us. But I know you do all the sports and you guys do a great job. And we're excited for BCAM to be a partner with you. Yeah, so are we. Thank you so much. All right, have a great day. You too.